Hello, welcome back to Reese's Attic. I've done a few um, cards lately and I wanted to show you what I've done. <clears throat> I've made some cards. I actually ended up making four. I've got three of them here. I used a Stampendous set. Um, it had a it had a die cut for the roof and a die cut for the stem and then it had ten little stamps that went with it. For the background I just used a yellow ink pad and brushed it on and colored and I used color pencils. Um, I used S-T-A-E-D-T-L-E-R. I don't know um, that brand well, but it blends with the um, the low odor mineral spirits. It blends with the uh, blending stub real well. And I did blend everything here. The inside is from Proverbs 24. I do think I made a mistake. I think it might should be is instead of are there, but it's the uh, first three or four verses. You, you can look that up and, and um, have them printed out and put it on your cards. But um, I've been trying to at least put this little charm. I'm going to go back to Hobby Lobby and get like maybe everything they've got there. And I just love them. Oh, to put the charm on, I put a little reinforcement on the back, and I use, I actually use the, the thing that it's attached to the card with, the thing that you purchase with it. I just use it and twist it on the back. And if you have this reinforcement there, it doesn't pull through. Thank God. Anyhow, I had all these done, and then after I gave it to another friend, after I gave one of the cards to a friend, I then realized, ooh, I've got some cute little butterflies I could put on these things. One of the things that I did wrong was I did not use the proper um, paper weight. This was a lightweight cardstock, and you can see how that... Um, they it bled I love that I was able to do this on the inside because I had to off center this because it bled through so that covered up my mistakes and then I was supposed to, and I evened it out so it didn't look so weird all the little elements, let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten little stamps that come with it. You see how this one, I made it a two-story. This one is a two-story, too, but it's a different kind of two-story. Uh, the one that I gave away today, I actually freehanded cutting the top of it off in a you know, natural, not a straight across, but again, a natural kind of like cut. And I turned it into a thatch roof. But like I said, all of them at least have this on it. I just love that. Then I just made some real quick plain cards. I used some six by six paper. I used some Something I got from Tuesday morning, uh, paper lace, and gosh, there's some very pretty things in here. So I used a couple of these. Uh, I used the background is from Anna Griffin. 
got this at a thrift, uh, not a thrift store, but a yard sale. And just gorgeous paper. <clears throat> so, background yard sale. The lace from Tuesday morning. This is from the Dollar Tree. It's a vinyl uh, sticker that actually goes on the wall. Uh, these are little embellishments that I had bought 10, 15 years ago, but I never did get into using it. I am going to put my little charm down here. Again, very plain card. Um, just these uh, cards and envelopes that, like, you buy a hundred of them. And I'm trying to use them up. And then the uh, this was from Tuesday morning. This was the vinyl sticker from um, Dollar Tree. And then these are the little embellishments that I've had for quite a long while. Quick, easy. One of the things that I tend to do, even in when I decorate at home, I don't like anything symmetrical because doing things symmetrical is so much more difficult. So I opt for skewed. One thing, it adds more interest. And again, uh, embellishments that I've had for a while, background, yard sale, Tuesday morning, Dollar Tree. And when I, when I say the Dollar Tree, this is, you get a double sided vinyl set of stickers for a dollar. This hat comes with a very huge, I'm just trying to figure out where can I put this beautiful part. This had roses. On it, and basically I used the roses and then wow I haven't figured out how to use these yet but only a dollar and I get two sides let's see how do I get this open okay Look at that. Oh my gosh. Gorgeous. But I'll figure out something. Alright. So this was my latest adventure. I hope you enjoyed taking a peek at these things. And just letting you know you can make pretty things inexpensively. And you can have a ton of, a ton of fun doing it. So go out to your local Tuesday morning. Dollar Tree. Check out your uh, thrift stores and your yard sales. You can find a lot of stuff there to start your hobby with. Y'all have a great day. Bye.